What's going on everyone? My name is James, also known as Mr. James Geary, and today we're going to be talking about ranking up faster in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This video is for everyone trying to rank up faster from people that are just new to the game or people that have been playing it for a while and are pretty good at it. This method works for everyone, and if you notice the gameplay, I actually don't get any kills. I wanted to show you guys that this method works really well without even getting kills. I also am using all the different parts of the class. I'm using the EMP grenades. I'm using the launcher as a secondary and all that stuff. So check the description down below for the picture of the class. You can duplicate it if you want to. You can also substitute a few things, but we'll talk about that later. Now the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the secondary, the FHJ 18 A. That is the launcher that only locks onto the aircraft or enemy vehicles. It doesn't lock on the people. It's not a free fire launcher, but that is amazing for ranking up. I'm going to tell you that right now. It really works well, and it can get up to 150, 200 points for downing streaks. That's three, four kills without even having to walk into battle. You're not getting shot at. People aren't coming at you. You're just sitting in your spawn, downing kill streaks, and you can easily rank up way faster playing the objective and downing kill streaks. This game is catered to people that are going to play the objective and help the team. It still is very good for people that want to get a lot of kills, but it's definitely catered for people that are playing the objective and team players. That goes where the FHJ is. I'm also running the EMP grenade. Those things are amazing. You can throw that thing and a sentry gun or something a mile away from it will still get killed those are one hit to the sentry guns the AGRs that's almost overpowered so if you walk up and you see a sentry gun a guardian an AGR a dragon fire flying close to the ground you can easily just throw one of those things and it'll kill it in one hit in my opinion that's pretty overpowered and some of those streaks are a little bit higher up and you can easily just throw a thing it doesn't have to be anywhere close it could be through the wall you can randomly throw them over like I'm doing in this game and just detonating C4s and getting all this stuff from just randomly throwing up things. I can get the equivalent of two or three kills from just throwing one of these EMP grenades across the spawn to the enemy team and they end up having, you know, shock charts and other stuff on the floor. Now my first perk is going to be Flak Jacket. Flak Jacket is a pretty valuable perk, especially when going up against enemy launchers and stuff. Also that AGR when it's coming at you, that thing fires missiles too or explosives and that's what Flak Jacket's all about. It's about protecting you from those explosives. Second perk is going to be Cold Blooded that can easily help you when and they have a VTOL warship or something in the air and that's shooting down on you. They can't see you because that cold blood is going to block that from you. And for the third perk, we're going to be running Engineer. Now, Engineer is pretty crucial if you see a room with a bunch of red dots. In case you don't know, Engineer lights up the enemy equipment like C4s, tactical insertions, shock charges. It lights it up red, so if you see a room with a bunch of red little dots, you can throw an EMP there and that actually can take out that equipment through the wall. But if you don't really want to run an EMP, you can also run the Black Hat, but I prefer the EMP. You can easily take things out in no time. Now the EMP is really overpowered since it can take out killstreaks so easily and there is really no simple way to counter it. Now if you are running an EMP grenade and you get EMP'd, throw your EMP grenade at the floor and it will cancel out the effects of the enemy EMP. Now if you're not getting too much use out of Engineer, you can swap that out for Tactical Mask. I like Tactical Mask too, it's a bit of a hard decision so Tactical Mask or Engineer works great for the third perk. Now for the primary weapon, you can put whatever you like. Put what gun you work best with, maybe an SMG for Nuketown or smaller maps, maybe an assault rifle for larger maps or an LMG really works good and it's a pretty good class and it caters to you so it's just a few little options adjustments that you can make to your daily class that help you rank up way faster get a level or two done each game that's about it i hope you have a great day well if you enjoyed this video like would be awesome and if you're new around here please subscribe keep in mind i'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers in this new year two vids you may have missed the most recent video has actual gameplay from the new dlc revolution map pack and also has gameplay with that peacekeeper smg on three different maps so go check that out that's pretty awesome and also video on the right talks about Xbox 720 and the new Skype platform that's going to be implemented into that. That's about it. Have a great day.